Hi, hey, hello everyone. So I figured I'd make a quick little video before I head off to bed. So I realized that I have not made a video in almost two weeks. Oh my god, that's a little unusual for me, but I have been so tired. Uh, I think I worked like 93 hours uh, last couple weeks, and now this one was like... 83 which is a little bit more normal um it wouldn't be so bad except sometimes i get off <sighs> sorry there's a cat that jumped on me during the night and then i come back very early in the morning so at the most for the last two days before this i got maybe close to six hours maybe less of sleep uh for two days Sorry, kitty. You're just scratching me. So, yeah, I, I finally have caught up on some sleep. But, of course, I had housework to do and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm finally making a video again. Yay! Uh, my last one was about Tome Topple, I believe, which I failed miserably at. Uh, I've just been feeling so stressed and everything. But now it's starting to calm down a little bit, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. So I am quickly going to do an Author's Answers, which is a segment, a series, um, whatever you want to call it, that was created by uh, J.D. Archer. And, you know, I needed some ideas and everything, and these sounded like fun. I did a couple of them, like, last year, I think, in December. Maybe January. I don't know. But, um, since I'm working on something, I thought this question uh, would be fun to answer and kind of fun to talk about. So I'm not, like, doing them in order or anything. I'm just kind of picking ones that seem interesting to me. So, and I'll be kind of paraphrasing. I'm not talking, I'm not saying exactly how the question is worded. But, um, basically the question is... What is your work in progress, and can you tell us about it? So, I just got done with a set of short stories, which you can find on Amazon, by the way. And now, I'm trying to work on my first novel. Like, I've had ideas, I've written a lot of words. One time I got up to at least 10,000 words. I've tried Nano Rival, but I, I always keep changing stuff. Okay. And, um, um, I'm finally trying to stick to just one story now. So, my work in progress is basically a young adult novel. Now, I'm not sure what to classify the genre as. So, basically, there is a girl in my story, the main character, is told from her point of view. So, it's Mommy. first person point of view. Hold on, Nadie. Okay. And, um, so, she likes to be creative, but she's also very introverted. She has a lot of social anxiety. So, you know, I, I kind of wanted more of a character like me, but obviously, you know, a little different and everything, because that kind of stuff isn't written about a whole lot. I mean, there are stories about teenage problems and young adult problems and high school and boyfriends or college or your first job and stuff like that and that's all great to um to you know read about and write about and everything but there's not a whole lot of people that touch on the whole sorry you know social anxiety issues and you know issues of insecurity other than when it comes to love or interest and stuff I really don't want to put a love interest in my story. If I do, it might be a girl. Who knows? I, I kind of plan to make her somewhat... Um, I'm not somewhat, but, you know, I don't want sexuality to be, like, a big thing in here. Because, like I said, it's not really about attraction or love interest and everything. But I'm thinking about making her bisexual. And possibly, if a love interest comes up, it might be a girl. Something a little bit different, but I don't want to push the issue of being different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to 
like make it feel forced or anything. I just kind of want something a little bit different, something that's not something we see all the time, but not make it totally different, you know, make it like a normal young adult. All and what they would be going through. Okay. Wait, the um, title? A garbage. Uh, just throw it away. Okay, mommy. And, um, she's also going to be pagan. <coughs> Probably Wiccan, I'd say. Or maybe just eclectic pagan. Um, like, again, it's not an issue I want to push and everything. I don't want to have, like, this... Nope. I don't want pe I don't want people to imagine this character as walking around with this big banner that says I am Wiccan or something like that. You know, she's not gonna be like clad in black and pentacles and all of that, but you know, it's going to be part of her faith, just like Christianity or Judaism would be to somebody else. We don't see a lot of pagan characters. But again I feel that you know, there is a lack of representation in certain things, but what you are should not override who you are, no matter what, in my opinion. My character should be liked for who she is over what she is, but I want to bring a little bit, you know, of different flavor and everything to things. So, that's a little bit about my character. Her name is Kendra, by the way. I, I don't know if I've picked out a last name for her yet. But her name is Kendra, and she has two very best friends named Sam and Nicole. So, while people understand her social anxiety and everything, you know, they don't push her to do things, but they encourage her to enjoy life and everything. Because she often, she often thinks that she's not worthy of things. She also makes excuses of why something is okay for somebody else to do, but not her. And, you know, those are kind of things that I felt, and that's why I kind of wanted to write about it. And so, she ends up taking a job at her aunt's, ca her aunt's cafe, and while her family is pagan and she knows of magic and everything, she doesn't think too much of it. It's not like something where she discovers her family is witches or whatever. She kind of knows that magic has been talked about, but she doesn't pay too much attention to it. She kind of thinks it's silly family stories and everything. Until one day she drinks this coffee that her aunt gives her that happens to be magical, and it takes her to a magical land. Now, I'm not sure if all the coffee is going to do this, but I want all the coffee to be magical in her aunt's shop. Or, like... The coffee, you know, that her aunt keeps in the back or whatever. I mean, they're not serving magical coffee to regular customers. But basically, she starts to explore different worlds. She starts to see, you know, magic and imagination and her own magic and what her own imagination can do. And then she has her supportive friends. So I'm not really sure. Is that like magical realism or urban fantasy or something like that? I have no idea what to classify that as, but so far, that's basically what my story is about. It is about an introverted girl who discovers magic coffee and starts to have adventures. Is it stupid? I don't know. Is it clever? I don't know. But you know what? It's mine. And I don't see anything else out there like it, so... I hope I like it, and I hope other people like it, and that is a little bit about my work in progress. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.